What's up guys, it is me, the Dom Fanatic, and welcome to a very late team builder. Uh, not team builder, sorry, I can't even get it right. It's 10 o'clock at night, bear with me. Um, we are here for the team analysis um, of the Norris Skitties squad for PPL Division 1 Season 6. This is our 6th consecutive season in the league and I think the only other person you can say that is Shardy so um, I think that's saying something for me uh, whether that means I'm good or lucky we'll never know but we will find out this season nevertheless and I must say the draft that I have this season is probably one of the most fun and like I, I don't know how to describe it but scariest I guess would be best um, teams that I've probably managed to draft in the PPL um, <coughs> sorry, I will go ahead and say it now, I've got 9 Pokemon in the draft, so it's a, a bit on the sl uh, smaller side compared to some other drafts this season. Um, I think the lowest that anyone went to was 9, I don't think there's any 8-man drafts, um, and there is 11-man uh, drafts as well. Um, so, without me rambling on, we're just going to get straight into uh, the, the Norris Skitty squad for the season. So, first up... I would like to say that I wanted to get Tapu Koko um, round one because that thing just destroys teams on its own. Um, it's really fun to watch um, if you have it, but I have not been able to get Tapu Koko since Sun and Moon came out in a draft league. I've done like four and I've never been able to get it. So um, a few good mons were there. It, there was Lando T when it came to me, but I didn't want to spend that much money on uh, a mon like Lando T, which was inevitably, inevitably going to be a Zemev user, because it's probably one of the best, if not the best, user of it in a, in league format. But I wanted the mon that was a bit cheaper, and maybe not my key Zemev user to start with. So round one, I decided to pick up Jirachi, a very safe kind of Pokemon to pick, because it literally can do everything. Um, its move pool lets it be physical, lets it be special, it's got uh, healing and wish, it's got kind of like team support in moves like Thunder Wave. Obviously Serene Grace with its plethora of moves that get boosted by Serene Grace, the Iron Head, Zen Headbutt combo, you know, that can uh, that can infamously flinch everyone. Uh, you've got the Elemental Punches which can uh, do the you know, Paralysis, Burn, Freeze, that kind of stuff. Um, Thunderbolt, Energy Ball, it's a shame it doesn't get Ice Beam, that'd be really good if it did. You know, Psychic, Psy Shock, Flash Cannon. Just a trick, just an incredible move pool. Um, a great sort of mythical legendary Pokemon with base 100s across the board. Let's it be really flexible. It can be fast defensive. It can be bulky wish support. It can be just defensive. Um, you know, it can run band, specs, scarf, leftovers, colba berry, sugar berry, um, some kind of item you want to trick onto your opponent. This thing's roll. Um, it's pretty flexible. I wanted to make a team that could make it so it wasn't going to have to be defensive every week because offensive Jirachi is kind of scary because you know you don't want to take um, Choice Scarf Iron Heads just constantly getting flinched and trying to have to break through that uh, over and over again if you're my opponent. So um, Jirachi seemed like a really nice pick round one. I can't remember how many points it was because I don't actually have the photos open. Let me actually open that. Right, so that was 18 points, which isn't too bad. It's the second most expensive mon in the draft, along with um, uh, with Mew. I believe no, I think Mew is actually the most expensive. A couple of Pokemon in the 18s, like your Victinis, Kyron Black, maybe things kind of that caliber up there. So uh, it's obvious that people rate Jirachi that highly. So that was my round one pick. Um, so I've got my Steel type, and obviously. In draft formats, the classic Steel Dragon Fairy core does get you quite far, um, especially if you have a really good one. It's kind of like as uh, along the lines of uh, the Fire Water Grass core, which is pretty good at you know supporting each other. So uh, the second one that I decided to pick up is in fact the Clefable. Uh, it's only 15 points. I don't know if it's been reduced in price since last season. Potentially, if not the same, I would imagine. Um, it's a mon which probably will take on a bulkier role for me. Um, but again, it's a mon that can, uh, you know, just run a different set of moves. You know, it's got Bolt Beam, Moon Blast. Uh, just because of its previous normal typing, it has access to so many different types of moves. It's great. What I didn't mention was Jirachi, but obviously Clefable have as well. It's access to Stealth Rocks, so that's two Stealth Rockers uh, sort of straight up there, which is fantastic. Um, again, another Wish Supporter if I really needed. 
that can soft boil, moonlight on its own, do whatever it wants. Um, you know, Magic Guard and Unaware are two amazing abilities to have in League format. Unaware just nullifies any kind of setup anyone's doing. Magic Guard, you know, you don't have to worry about hazards, you don't have to worry about toxic. Um, this thing gets Calm Mind, it gets Cosmic Power. Um, you know, setup moves which, along with Magic Guard, just work wonders um, because obviously you can't get poisoned. Uh, you know, you, you can't be affected by hazards when you come in. So, everyone knows what Clefable does. I don't need to go over it too much because when you see someone draft Clef uh, Clefable, there's only one real thing they're sort of going to do with it on their draft, and you know it's going to be a fat nuisance. So, we've got the steel and we've got the fairy part of our core. Um, next up, I originally wanted High Dragon. Um, I cannot, I, I don't think originally I was going to go for Clefable, because obviously I was going to go Tapu Koko, High Dragon. Um, and then any kind of steel type I could get, but that went that you know that plan just got thrown out the window straight away when Tapu Koko went the turn before me. May I add? Um, thanks, even. Um, we are going to go to round three, and we are going to complete our core with Salamence, one of the best Z move users. End of. Uh, I think it's widely accepted that that is the case in in draft leagues and in general. You know, its stats: 95 HP, 135 attack. 80 defense, 110 special attack, 80 special defense, 100 speed, dragon dance, Z moves. So, uh, you know, again, it's a mon with loads of ridiculously good moves. Um, I'm just looking here Aqua Tail, Brick Break, Crunch. It's a defogger, which is one of few on my team sort of hazard removers. Uh, Draco Meteor, Dragon Claw, Dragon Dance, uh, Earthquake, Fire Blast, Flamethrower, Heat Wave, Hydro Pump, Outrage, Hyper Voice. Rock Slide, Shadow Claw, Stone Edge, Tailwind, Toxic. I wish Yuzu if I really wanted it to be one. Uh, Zen Head, but you know, this thing has a great move pool. Um, and with a Z move, I mean, obviously, I think Z Fly is probably the most sort of recognized on Salamence and things like Dragonite, purely because flying switch ins are very rare. Um, and I do have a lot of things in my draft that can help with like the rock types and such that might want to, uh, rock and steel types that might want to switch in. Um, on Z Fly and Salamence in its own can actually take it on. You know, it does get Hydro Pump, it does get Aqua Tail, it does get Earthquake, um, it does get Fire Blast. You know, it can take on them Rock and Steel types that switch in, um, Electro types that switch in. You know, Earthquake I've already mentioned. Uh, this thing just does a lot of ow, basically. And if you set up one Dragon Dance and you do have Z Fly, you're going to be pretty much taking something out. Um, along with Moxie and Intimidate, again, two amazing abilities to have uh, in League format as long as they don't have a Defiant user. Um, uh, or a competitive user because you know lowering people's attack making the setup easier or you know if you want to go really aggro the moxie on top of dragon dance you know that you're just going to be raising your attack every time you get a kill and unless they have a scarf which is above base 100 um or ice shard salamence is just going to steamroll through teams um so i'm really looking forward to using it i think i had it in the very first season of the ppl and i didn't use it very well um but I've learnt since then, and I feel like I would be a lot more comfortable actually using Salamence to its full potential this time round. So that's the Steel Fairy Dragon, or Steel Dragon Fairy, whatever you want to call it, core, um, sort of made up there. So next thing in my mind is probably the Fire Water Grass, or Fire Grass Water, or whatever you want to call it. Um, because once I have all this, um, obviously Salamence is probably like the most offensive out of the three here. Jirachi, like I said, is kind of like mixed. Clefable can be defensive, but can also be offensive. So all of these three here can be bulky, but offensive as well. Um, or, you know, things like Salamence and Jirachi, you can just be all out speedy and offensive. And we're going to carry on with that kind of theme. Uh, next up, we are going to go for Arcanine. Um, a good boy who I have now named Smudge. I did originally have it literally named Good Boy because I couldn't think of anything else. But after my dog was put down the other day, I decided to name it Smudge, which is my dog's name, uh, in its honour. And we will win the season for her. Um, I'm saying that right now. We will win the season for my dog. Um, we've got Arcanine. I mean, it's a, you've seen Arcanine used in leagues, literally. Someone will draft it at some point. Uh, I managed to get it in round four, which is quite surprising because it's a very good mon. Um, again, it's something that can hit specially or physically. You know, 90 HP, 110 attack, 80 defense, 100 special attack, 80 special defense, 95 speed. Access to uh, priority and extreme speed. You know, access to coverage moves like close combat, crunch, dragon pulse, um, you know, fire blast, flamethrower, flare blitz, heat wave, iron head, morning sun, outrage, overheat, um, will o' wisp, wild charge, toxic. So the fact it's got reliable recovery uh, and, and can be a bulky fire type, and it's what you tend to see in League format more, um, it can also be offensive. And I do really want to try and get a good game 
with an offensive Arcanine at some point this season. Um, it does get agility, so it can boost its own speed. It's not the fastest thing, it's not the slowest. Um, and it does get Howl, so it can actually boost up its uh, attack stat. I don't think it gets any other kind of interesting setup. Other interesting moves to note, Burn Up, if I want to get rid of Fire Type, could be quite nice tech. Um, if you know I'm worried about a, spe a specific Water Type, for example. Um, Bulldoze, great for slowing people down. Double Kick, not that I'd use it because you get uh, close combat. I'm just looking through the really, really, really weird moves at this point. Because Iron Tail, it gets Iron Head, which I've already noted. Reversal could be interesting. Solar Beam, that Power Herb Solar Beam action. Apparently it gets teleport in Gen 1. That's interesting. I'd like to know how an Arcanine could teleport. Um, Thunder Fang, Thief, Thrash. Uh, some really good moves, but again, just a, a general one that overall can fit so many different roles. So that's what I'm liking about this team so far. Uh, we, we've got lots of mons which are fat, which are offensive, and can be either role depending on what I need it to be for the, on, on the day. So um, moving on, another Pokemon which um, basically fits that bill. Um, we're going to go for the grass type of the core now, and that is Delmise. Um, I used Delmise uh, along with Clefable actually in GBA D League, and I didn't have too much success with them. Um, I wasn't planning on getting them again this time, as I've already said, Tapu Koko was going to be my fairy originally, as was Serena was going to originally be my grass type, but again, that got sniped literally like a turn or two before I got to pick. So. I had to get back to Delmise because one, I wanted Rapid Spin, two, actually rather nicely it worked out that I now have um, a Spin Blocker, uh, for anyone who does want to spin, but Defog is way more prevalent than Rapid Spin these days, so I, I feel like that uh, Ghost types are kind of you know losing their value in terms of Spin Blocking, still great though, and one thing I can't overlook in this case, in Delmise's case, 131 base attack, 100 defense, 90 special defense, 86 special attack, um, this thing hits hard and it gets moves to hit hard and let alone you know its ability in steel worker basically gives it stab on steel attacks without having the steel typing which is it's actually really nice it you know I, I don't get any extra weaknesses or you know anything like that from the steel typing um because i don't have it but i do get the boost um and it, again it gets great moves anchor shot stops people from switching in the base 80 and that gets boosted by steel worker it's basically like a choice band on steel moves um it does get great coverage moves like Earthquake, Energy Ball, Brick Break, <coughs> Flash Cannon, Giga Drain, Gyro Ball. This thing's really slow. Gyro Ball does a butt ton. Heavy Slam, this thing's quite heavy as well, I believe, which is odd for a ghost. Um, Iron Head, it's just all these steel moves. Knock Off is a gift it was given in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, which is fantastic. Power Whip, uh, Rapid Spin, um, Rock Slide, Shadow Ball, Shadow Claw, Sludge Wave, Surf. Um, switcheroo, sword stance, and I, I think one of the biggest things it gained this season, which I wasn't too upset that I had to have it this time, is Synthesis. It didn't have that when I was in the D League, because D League was Sun and Moon. This is Ultra Sun Ultra Moon, and Ultra Moon, and it does get Synthesis now, which is really nice. Um, I'm just looking again at the weird moves it can get. Um, Iron Defense is kind of cool. Phantom Force could potentially do some power herb Phantom Forcing. Um, role play to copy targets, abilities. I didn't know it got that. Uh, Whirlpool is another thing it gets, so Whirlpool trapping could be kind of nice, but you do have anchor shots, so why would you use Whirlpool? Um, <laughs> so that's Delmise. Again, it's just kind of like a bulky mon. Uh, I needed like a ground switch in at this point. I have Mints, obviously, but that's kind of predictable. Um, sadly, my you know Mints and Delmise are both weak to Ice, um, but that would be the case with most Grass types, if not all. Um, but it does give me another ground <coughs> resistance and it kind of synergizes well with the Arcanine. It resists the ground, resists the water, um, that Arcanine will be weak to, and Arcanine obviously resists um, the ice that uh, would be super effective against the Delmise. Uh, maybe not so much the flying, but we can work around that. So that's Delmise on the squad, a uh, really cool mon, great attack stat, decent bulk. Um, and very slow to actually take advantage of things like Gyro Ball. So, uh, next up, we are going to go to another old team member of mine, which I've had in the PPL before, and that is Gastrodon, good old Fidel Gastro. Um, probably the last bulky mon, or purely bulky mon, I'm going to draft because I have a very fat team at the moment. Um, but a very, very reliable mon that I seem to always play, play pretty well with in Gastrodon. It's pretty one dimensional in what it does, um, it's got a massive HP stat of 111. 
so it can just about be a physically defensive set, but 68 defense isn't really that good. Um, 83 attack and 92 special attack is respectable, and uh, it has some decent abilities. I think Sticky Hold is probably overlooked, obviously it can't be knocked off. You do take extra damage from knockoff, I guess, in that case, but if you have leftovers and you, 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 know, you want to keep them, or if you have a special berry and you want to keep that as well, you can't be knocked off. Um, like a Rindo Berry, for example, is a very common item to see on Gastron. I'll probably bring it a lot because that's its only weakness, and otherwise it will take hits because it's fat. Um, and it does have a pretty good move pool to take advantage of that. Storm Drain is the other, makes it immune to water. Obviously, it's ground type, so it's immune to electricity as well. Um, works really well with Arcanine. Obviously, it takes them water moves. Um, electricity, so I mean, nothing on my team is weak to electric yet. Um, Salamence is probably the most vulnerable, but you know, some, some strong electric types like Raikou, Arcanine, um, not Arcanine, Raikou, Tapu Koko. Um, I don't know if Mega Manetric was drafted, but things like that, um, which could potentially do a number to my team at this point. Thunderuses, you know, um, Gastron could take on well. Obviously, they're going to carry grass coverage because every team will for Gastrodon. Um, but, you know, Rindaberry does fix that and it does allow Gastrodon to do a massive hit. And, you know, Gastron can live a massive amount of grass moves, um, naturally, because of its bulk. Because 82 special defense and 111 HP. Is really good special bulk. Um, if you run a specially defensive mon um, uh, of version of this Gastrodon, sorry, then it will take hits guaranteed. Um, low speed, but again, it gets some really cool moves. Um, obviously, it's my schooled user. It's got Earth Power, it's got Earthquake, it's got Ice Beam, it's got Memento, it's got Recover, Pain Split, Rock Slide, Curse is a really cool one to see. Clear Smog, Sludge Bomb, Sludge Wave, um, Toxic. Uh, standards, uh, Stone Edge, Acid Armor, Amnesia, some cool setup. Um, I believe uh, it gets Block, which is interesting as well. Um, Counter and Miracle, I believe it gets both. I think Icy Wind is kind of cool. Um, what else is there? There's Natural Gift. Everyone loves a bit of Natural Gift every now and then. Stomping Tantrum. I didn't realize that was a move it's got. Um, power doubles if the user's last move failed. Interesting. Um, Whirlpool, Yawn. Just some really cool um, kind of moves which can either further its bulk or actually in, in, improve its offensive prowess. Um, I, I think this thing, you know, if you, you chucked like a life orb or spec, I mean life orb maybe not so much, but if you chucked specs on this thing um, and bought it in on something that was, it was super effective against, it would do seriously good damage. Um, you could easily go specs, I don't think it gets hydro pump, which is a shame, but specs surf, um, specs earth power, specs ice beam, specs sludge wave, uh, some, some really good moves that it can run offensively as well, and you know, it's just about the right coverage, which means it can kind of deal with some fairies, weaken them down, um, deal with some dragons with ice beam, weaken them down like that, scald, can burn things, it's just an overall mom, which I appreciate so much and I love using and it's only 8 points so I do have to start looking at some cheaper options at this point in the draft as well with what I have planned. So uh, enough of me going on about Gastrodon because I think that's had the most attention out of 6 months I've looked at so far. Um, we're going to start looking at a bit more speed and offense now because that's what I really need to I, I think round off my draft that would suit my play style. So next up we are going to finally pick our Mega Evolution for the season. You don't have to, um, you know, as per PPL rules, there's nothing saying you have to take one uh, if you don't want. Um, we are going to take Mega Aerodactyl. Um, the speed, I, I just feel like this thing would fit my playstyle so well. Um, it's got a massive speed of 150. Your opponent's going to bring a Scarf Mon. Um, I think. I will admit, without telling you the rest of my draft, I do kind of struggle with a bit of speed tiers between this and my next fastest thing. Um, but, you know, it forces my opponents to bring Choice Scarf Mon. And if they don't, this thing's going to um, outspeed everything. And I think the team I have, without Aerodactyl, is good enough just to chip people's teams down. I don't mind if I go 6-5, 6-4 down. Mega Aero can just come in late game and just clean up everything. Um, sadly, you know, its flying style isn't the best outside of Sky attack, um, it does get wing attack and aerial ace which I can use, um, along with tough claws it does make it pretty tough but it does have that stone edge which will do a huge amount of damage and there's not many things which switch into stone edge, again it's a mon with a fantastic move pool, I'll just go for all the ones that just sort of stick out to me, aerial ace, agility, aqua tail, crunch, defog, second defogger, um, dragon claw, dragon pulse, earth power, earthquake, fire blast, fire fang, flamethrower, heat wave, uh, Home Claws, Ice Fang, Iron Head, um, Pursuit, I guess Reflect, which I didn't actually know, um, 
Rock Slide, Roost, Stealth Rock, a third Stealth Rocker for me, Stone Edge, Tailwind, Toxic, Taunt. Uh, going into the more obscure moves, let me have a look. It gets Curse. Not that I really want to use Curse. Um, let's just have a look. What else do you get? Iron Tail. Uh, anything else worth you noting? You get Sky Drop. That would be kind of annoying. I don't know if it's one of our banned moves. I'll have to look. Um, Thunder Fang. As well, Fun so we've got elemental fangs. Do we have fire fang? Uh, let me have it. I can't find it. No, it doesn't. I oh, know it does, it's just in the usable moves. So, why is fire fang and ice fang in the usable moves, but not thunder fang? I don't get that. Um, but yeah, anyway, you, you kind of get the idea. The move pool is ridiculous. Base 135 attack doesn't sound great, but when you partner it with tough claws, um, all of their um, contact moves have. 1.3 times damage, so it's basically life orb, <laughs> life orb aerodactyl that doesn't lose HP um, and is ridiculously fast, which is great. And it's got decent bulk 80 HP, 85 defense, 95 special defense. More often than not, people don't have mons which can uh, outspeed mega aerodactyl, so you don't have to run it. You can run adamant a lot of the time. Jolly, if they have got something fast like a mega lopony, um, a mega septile, which I think have both been drafted. Um, I'm not sure if mega. Uh, Alakazam has been or not, um, but yeah, you just get the kind of idea. It's like a glass, not even glass cannon. It's just like a fast physical attacker, solid mon bulk. It, you know, it can take hits as well as dishing out. Its move pool is is great for the coverage. Uh, you know that that I need for my team just to pick off the weakened mons. So um, that's Mega Aerodactyl. Next up, we're going to go for a mon with uh, quite a bit. Well, I, I need priority at this point. I've got Arcanine's Extreme Speed. That's pretty much it. Um, we are going to go with around 8 Lucario. Um, I've been wanting to use this for quite a while. Um, steel and fighting typing offensively is ridiculously gross in this generation. It destroys fairies, it destroys steel types. That's two thirds of um, the Dragon Steel Fairy Core. Um, even things like uh, Skarmory, Celesteela. Skarmory gets two shot by Max Attack, Life Orb, Lucaria's Close Combat. That's that's grim. Um, but I love it because I now have it. And Shardy's always gone about how good Lucario is. I want to try it. Um, it gets Bullet Punch, Extreme Speed, Vacuum Wave. So that sorts out my priority issue right there. It gets Agility, it gets Nasty Plot, it gets Swords Dance. That's my setup there. It's Move Pool. Offensively, Aura Sphere, Blaze Kick, uh, Bulk Up, another set of move. Can't mind another set of move. Um, crunch, Dark Pulse, Dragon Pulse, Drain Punch, Earthquake, um, Flash Cannon, Focus Blast, Focus Punch, High Jump Kick, Home Claws, Ice Punch, Meteor Mash, which is a godsend for uh, Ultra Sun Ultra Moon because it only had Iron Tail before. Poison Jab, Power Up Punch, uh, Psychic, Quick Attack, uh, Rock Slide, Shadow Ball, Shadow Claw. Um, Thunder Punch, Toxic, Zen Headbutt, Swords Dance, um, more weird ones, Bone Rush, like, weird, I don't know, uh, Counter, not that it'll be living many hits to do it, Force Palm we don't care about, Heal Pulse, definitely not, um, Iron Tail, which I did mention before, but with Meteor Mash you don't really need to rely on that now, plus Meteor Mash does give you a 10% chance to get an attack boost, Magnet Rise is kind of cool actually, um, if you're expecting ground type move to come and hit you, um, what else is there, Reversal, Rock Tomb, Sky Uppercut, we don't care about, Vacuum Wave is for some reason in the not used move pool, it gets War Pulse as well, which is interesting, I, I did not know that, um, but yeah, that kind of gives you an idea of what Lucario's move pool is, like I said, it gets all the setup options, its physical attack is just ridiculous. Um, close combat, Meteor Mash, Earthquake pretty much just ruins most things. Um, and it does have Ice Punch for dragons. Um, obviously, things like Dragonite and Salamence wouldn't enjoy that. And if you don't fancy its physical attack of 110 base attack, you do have its 115 special attack. And I've already gone over moves that it has. Aura Sphere, if you don't want to run the chance of missing. Um, it flash Cannon, Dark Pulse, Shadow Ball, um, a hidden power move of your choice, Nasty Plot. It's very, uh, you know, it, it can run a set either way. It's ridiculous, um, and I'm really looking forward to using this thing, just, just punching holes into people's teams, basically, with it. Um, we've only got six points left after this. Um, we need uh, more speed and preferably an electric type because my only uh, one big flaw in my team is the momentum wise I only have U-turn on Jirachi nothing else has any <laughs> other than memento I guess on Gastrodon if that counts They should give a uh, baton pass to more things because it's, it's banned anyway, so just 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 no um, 
we're going to go with our final one here, and it is going to be Raichu. Now, Raichu is an interesting one. Um, I should point out, I haven't mentioned, Salamence is my Z-move user. What we did in the PPL this season was we got a £25 million budget. Uh, Pokemon's normal cost is how much it costs to add a Z-crystal. So, once I had Salamence, there was literally only... Uh, Raichu that I could afford, but I'm cool with that. Um, it's got 110 base speed, it's got 90 physical attack, 90 special attack, so it can go either way. 80 special defense, which isn't too bad, considering um, what else have I said? Salamence has base 80 special defense. Um, I think Gastron only has 82. Um, Lucario has 70. Delmice is 86. Um, I think, yeah, no, I think that's about right. So it's quite bulky on that side. Um, and we all know because the the amount of dumb Pikachu events, this thing does get some decent moves, um, namely Surf and Fly. So can you imagine Z Fly Raichu? I'm gonna make that a thing one week. I definitely am. Um, but again, a great move pool on this thing. Uh, agility again. I well, how many months do I have that? So I have Raichu, Lucario, Mega Aero, uh, Arcanine. We'll have agility. Salamence has Tailwind. Yeah, there's a lot, lots of speed boosting in my team, which kind of fills up the slower team kind of dynamic. It, it makes it a bit faster. But back to the move pool. Agility, Brick Break, Discharge, uh, Double Edge, Encore is, is a nice little uh, move. It can get Extreme Speed, so I've got three Extreme Speed. Uses Fake Out, Focus Blast, Focus Punch, uh, Grass Knot, Knock Off, Nasty Plot, Nuzzle could be quite nice for 100% Paralysis Chance, especially as um, Thunder Wave. Is has a chance to miss now. Quick attack, uh, seismic toss, signal beam, sleep talk, substitute surf, thunderbolt, uh, thunder punch, volt tackle, wild charge, volt switch, wish, another wish user. I've got three wish users now. Four wish users. <laughs> Four wish users, which is kind of interesting. Um, so, yeah, the, like because of all the events that Pikachu has and the move shooters, um, Raichu has quite a decent move pool open to Z moves. So for 5 million for its speed, and you know, if I could chuck some choice specs on this thing, Volt Switch and Thunderbolt is going to be doing a decent amount of damage. If I can even get, you know, um, Stealth Rocks up and Nasty Plot up, this thing could do a ridiculous amount of damage. Um, it's a shame it only gets Disarming Voice as its strongest fairy type move. If that got like Dazzling Gleam, it'd be able to take on some of the fairies as well. Um, which would be quite nice. Um, I'm just looking through the rest. Sadly, things like Z Happy Hour aren't legal. Otherwise, I could run Z Happy Hour on this thing. It gets Heart Stamp. That's interesting. A physical psychic move it gets. Um, Iron Tail, which I could run. Magnet Rise again. Um, what else is there? Play Nice. We're not going to be using that. It gets Roll Out. Some of the thing, the moves these Pokemon get from Gen 1 and Gen 2 is ridiculous. Um, Sweet Kiss, Teeter Dance, Thief, Tickle. Yawn, Uproar, Zap Cannon, like the things on this Raichu are, you know, ridiculous. And for, for the price of 5 million and another 5 to stick a Z movie was on, uh, Crystal on it, seems like a pretty decent deal to me. Another thing as well which I forgot to mention is Lightning Rod, obviously I have Mega Aerodactyl now, um, uh, none of my team exists Electric outside Gastrodon, which is immune. So Raichu with Lightning Rod does give it a nice immunity if they don't have an electric type and I'm not worried about electric coverage. Which, to be fair, um, I think something like Ice is probably more likely, like uh, Hidden Power Ice to take on the Aero and the Salamence, and potentially the Delmise as well, is more likely. Um, so things like uh, electric moves might not be too common, so Static is something that can be quite nice as well, just random paralysis chances. Um, so that's actually the team. We've got one million, or well, one point remaining. One million points? It's 120 million points, basically. It's, it's meant to be like money, like real football. Um, that didn't happen on here, though. Um, so yeah, that's the team. I didn't decide to get a meme pick. I've got that one million there. It, it won't go anywhere. Um, and it's there in case I do want to make some transfers now. I think after a few games, there may well be times where I will want to change. Um, I think, sadly, if anything, it would probably be Lucario, just in favour for something a bit quicker. Um, uh, and maybe more especially hard hitting, I don't know. Otherwise, uh, maybe something that would get a U-turn as well. U-turn or Volt Switch. Um, maybe more momentum would be something, and maybe more hazard removal, because two of my T-Foggers are Aero and Salamence, which are weak to rocks, and then my Rapid Spinner is uh, Dull Eyes. So, um, definitely some holes in the team, but I'm feeling really comfortable looking at it on this piece of paper, like on my screen right now, not on a piece of paper. Um, there's 
a lot of promise here to me. There's lots of synergy, there's lots of power, there's lots of bulk. Um, I'm looking forward to the season. I really am because I think that this team can go places. So that's it for the team analysis. This is going to be going up Sunday night, Monday morning as soon as possible, really after recording it. Um, week one will be live a few hours later, so 5 o'clock Monday GMT. UK time, um, week one will be live against Paul, and then week two, which I had today against Elliot, I will not spoil the results, will be live next Monday, so um, uh, make sure you look out for them, and then week three, I'm currently planning uh, to play Kyle uh, and the Harlem Gloom Trotters, so that will prove to be a tough game, how do you guys think we'll get on this season, make sure you let me know uh, in the comments below, obviously people tend to put me down as a team that's going to get relegated every season, so uh, I, I've kind of just got over the fact that happens. Uh, you can say that if you want, but I'm I'm one of two people who've only managed to survive in Division <laughs> One this long, so um, I'd say think twice. Maybe this is the season. I've got the impetus to win this for my dog. As stupid as it sounds, this will be for her if we can win this title somehow. Um, but we've definitely got a team I think that's capable of doing it. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Sorry if I've rambled on. I've tried to keep it as short as possible, but team analysis don't really tend to be that short, but half an hour ain't bad. Thanks for watching. Make sure you leave a like. Check out all the links to the PPL guys below, um, and I will see you for week one later on today slash tomorrow, whatever time this video goes live. See you later. Bye.